Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Look at this. I can't even make this up. Oh my god, guys, this is so insane. Dude, my heart is fucking racing right now. Look. Khaleesi. Babe. Oh my god. So crazy. I can't believe. Dude, I was literally... This is so insane. So this morning... Oh my god. This has been a crazy day. Oh my god. This morning, I woke up. I was gonna go look for the, look around the neighborhood. I don't know what was going on. Maybe like the I've been thinking about every scenario that could possibly happen with these iguanas, and I was thinking maybe my lawn people let them out, or even maybe somebody came and let them out, or even somebody came and stole them, and maybe because of all the posts yesterday and us blowing everything up, maybe they got scared and like brought them back and just let them go. Because, dude, Drogo was literally in my backyard yesterday, this morning by the pool, sunbathing. And Khaleesi, dude, I just found her just now. Just now. While I'm driving home. Literally, I woke up, I found, found Drogo. Oh my god, dude, my heart is racing. I found Drogo. I went to the shop. I started making missing rhino iguana posters for Khaleesi. Oh my God, sorry, I can't even think straight. And dude, I'm just coming home. I just put some flyers in some mailboxes and she's literally in the street, walking down the street just now. So insane, so absolutely crazy. I really, dude, I still have no idea how they got out. There's no way, they, they, can't, uh, they cannot escape. Somebody had to have let them out. I always make sure, just like my venomous cages, my cages, I always make sure they are closed when I am done. It is protocol, it is what we do. As soon as we're done taking care of the animals, we do a cage check every single time. That is what we are trained to do from, since I was a child. You clean the snake cages at the underground or wherever I worked or my animals, always check to make sure your cages are closed and secure when you are done always that is the last thing you do before you leave doing uh, handling your animals or taking care of their cages so i am very confident that i did not leave the cage open i'm thinking maybe it was my maybe it was my lawn maintenance people maybe somebody to i feel like somebody did come to my house and maybe let them out still because my the gate to the side of my house yesterday when I had the cops come the gate was open and my gate is closed always I don't open my gate the lawn people they open the gate oh my god this is so crazy I can't believe I just I can't believe this just happened I'm so insanely thankful like dude the last 24 hours has been terrible. Like thinking I lost my babies forever. Somebody stole them. Imagine, I, don't, I just don't know what's, I don't know what happened. You know what I mean? Like I have no idea what happened. Oh, man, so I'm gonna, let's go get these guys set up. Oh, dude, don't scare me like that ever again, guys. Holy crap. Oh, you happy she's back, dude? You happy? Man. No, don't try to eat me. You guys are hungry? I'm gonna go to Publix and get you guys some food right now. Oh my God, dude. Whew. Dude, I'm so blown away right now. Oh, I'm like, dude, dude I'm shaking. Holy crap. Oh my God. Good. Good day. Oh, holy crap. All right, I gotta, I'm gonna feed them. They need some treats. They need some love right now. Holy crap. I am still so blown away. Sorry, you guys are getting an iPhone video today. I had no intentions on filming and doing all this today. Everything kind of happened 
very last minute. So I'm just kind of recording it as we go and figuring it out. But went to Publix. Oh, I just got them all sorts of tasty treats for my babies. So I'm so happy that they're home. So we're gonna go in there. I'm gonna get this ready real fast. We're gonna go into their cage. I'm gonna talk about a little bit more about how I feel about this whole situation and what I think happened and ideas and what I'm gonna do to prevent this from ever happening again. Never want this to happen ever again. This was this was a terrible 24 hours. Like it has been, my life has been upside down. It's been, it's been like losing my dog. You know what I mean? Like if I lost my dogs or my cats or whatever, like it, it was it just as intense. Through, relax. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go in there in just a second. Woo, spoiling them today, man. We got tortoise chow, bunch of berries, bananas, grapes, lettuce. Oh, my babies. Holy crap. So happy they're back. All right, dude, guys, come here, babies. Holy crap. Oh, Khaleesi. Oh, I'm so freaking happy. The Eldabs, they're back. Drogo. Dude, do you want some food, man? Look, got a banana for you? Yes. Oh my God. Good freaking day, man. Look at him. So happy about that banana right now. Oh God. This has been crazy. Like literally. Elise, what are you guys doing? So, Dude, I just don't know, like, still what could have possibly happened. I honestly think that the maintenance guys for my lawn must have let them out because I asked my neighbors. My neighbors across the street have cameras that are literally facing my house. So I asked them to check the cameras. The only thing that they saw was the lawn people at the house. Um, I have a couple cameras. I have a camera out front and I have a camera in my patio. Um... They didn't really catch anything. Oh, look at the Aldabra drinking some water. Hey, you go. You gotta get in the water bowl, dude. So yeah, I just don't understand it. Like, that's what I was saying. It, like, if somebody were to have stolen these animals, they didn't take anything else. So that was odd. Um, it's just there was a lot of weird things about it, a lot of sketchy things about the whole situation. I looked everywhere yesterday. The last 24 hours have been insane. Literally looked all freaking day yesterday. Not a trace of them. Like I ace ventured this whole neighborhood. You know what I mean? And not a trace. I looked everywhere. I looked up in the trees. I looked absolutely everywhere. I looked under things. I looked under the wood. I looked in my garden. I looked in my next door neighbor's yard. I, I walked around. I asked my neighbors if I could check their yards. I checked a bunch of yards. No trace of them yesterday. I posted that video. Thousands of people shared it and reposted it. I'm thinking maybe if somebody did come back here and steal them, maybe they got scared and came and released them last night or something. I, I honestly don't know. Like, it blows my mind. I keep just, I've been so consumed by this for the last 24 hours. It could be anything. I've thought of every freaking scenario. You know what I mean? I had people calling me. They were like, oh, maybe somebody came on a boat. You know what I mean? The water's right there. My buddy hit me up last night and he was like, man, I really think maybe somebody came on a boat and maybe they stole them that way. For me to think that somebody stole them is not crazy to think because there's a crazy cartel down here right now. Um, I just saw a video earlier today that my friend Ashley posted of a truck going onto somebody's property. Uh, I think it was like in West Palm or something. Stole a huge Aldabra from their property. They actually, no, they tried to steal the Aldabra. Everything was caught on camera. They were trying to pick it up, couldn't put it in the truck. They got caught. They tried leaving the property and ended up running the Aldabra over. Terrible. Thank God these guys were not harmed at all. Dude, it's just, it's not crazy to think. There's another person in Miami, uh, another one of my friends, somebody came onto her property, stole all of her birds. Um, another property, I have another friend in Miami, he breeds tegus, stole a bunch of tegus. So it's not crazy for me to think. So what I'm gonna do to just make sure that this never happens again, and if it does ever happen again, 
people are going to pay consequences and they're going to get caught. Nobody's ever going to get away with this ever again, whether it's my maintenance people or anything, whatever the case is, whatever could have possibly have happened. I have no idea. It's just, it's so crazy to me. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm literally, I called a security company, a new, a new security company yesterday. Dude, we're putting cameras. Dude, we're putting 12 cameras in my house, like all over the place. Like literally there's going to be cameras all over everything now. Like I'm not going to, something happens on my property. Dude, there's going to be motion detectors and cameras everywhere. I already have these little Amazon cameras. You know what I mean? Everybody's got the Amazon cameras, the little battery operated ones you just put in there. It goes on your phone. I've had those. And obviously they just don't work that great. Um, because we missed, I mean, yeah, we saw the maintenance people here and we saw a couple other people buy it, but like, we didn't really find any, any p good evidence. You know what I mean? So I'm really going to get tight on the camera situation. Um, I already have ADT for my house for like the windows and doors and all, all that stuff. Um, dude, this cage has a lock on it, but it's just this manual lock right here. And like I said before, it is crucial to lock your cages and it's protocol whenever we're dealing with my animals look see this lock see it's not even easy to unlock see like this you just lift up this little latch so it's not like the lizards can open this latch you have to physically open it like a human has to open this cage they can't just like open it up the, on themselves and escape they can't escape anywhere else that hide box right there there's no holes in it there's no way that they can squeeze out of anything the top is completely secure and it's locked these holes, they can't get in between these things. Not possible. The cage is literally, there is concrete along the entire edge of this cage. They cannot dig underneath it. There's no way they escaped. Somebody let them out. 100%. Don't know who it was, but that has to have been the case. And like I said in the, before, I always make sure my cages are locked. That is the last thing that I do. When I'm handling any of the animals, the monitors, the iguanas, the snakes, more importantly. But when you're done taking care of them, you make sure the cages are locked. That is protocol is what we do every single time, especially in the snake room. When we're done with the snake room, we check every single vision cage to make sure there's no, everything has a lock on it when we're done. Obviously, when we do the cages, we don't put the locks on right away. But at the end, we put all the locks on everything, make sure all the cages are closed. Everything is nice and secure and safe, okay? This, I take this very, very seriously. It's not only just a passion of mine and I have a lot of animals, but like, it's also like, it's a big deal. Like I have venomous animals in Boca Raton. If they get out, that is a big problem for me, big problem for my neighbors, big problem for everybody. I definitely never want that to happen. So we gotta be very, very careful, right baby Khalees? Holy crap, I can't believe, I cannot, believe right now that I am literally sitting in my rhino iguana cage with them again I was so upset yesterday so upset like even watching I watched the Mayweather fight last night and yeah it was a cool fight they hugged a lot and that, that was cool but like dude I was so upset that's all I could think about I was so consumed in reading your guys's emails and looking at how many people shared the video and just just worried sick i didn't even eat yesterday i had two slices of pizza yesterday and i only had pizza because i really couldn't eat anything else like i just i was sick to my stomach all day long it sucked man like it sucked it sucked so bad but life is good and we got our babies back and that is what is most important i, I, I just do just so many so many scenarios were going through my head you know what i mean like Posting all those videos yesterday and calling those people out, whoever the hell did this. Like, maybe they got scared and maybe they came back last night and released my animals by my house. Maybe that's a possibility. I don't know. It just blows my mind. Blows my mind. But I'm so happy I have them back. Because I love these animals, man. Like, I put so much work into these guys. You guys remember when I first got Drogo? Drogo was so mean. He was such a jerk. He just tried to bite me all the time. He was such a turd. But now look at him. He's just a handsome man who loves life. He's spoiled. Dude, these guys eat so good, dude. Like Khaleesi. Dude, she look how big she is, man. Like she's like, she's got weight on her now. Like she's totally got some eggs in her. Like, 
It's about to be that time of the year. I'm pretty sure they've been doing business lately. So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully she starts digging here soon. They can't dig. They can't, hey, Jerogo, he just tried to like lick my stomach or something. I don't want you to bite me, bro. I've been bit by you before. I trust you, but I kind of don't trust you. So you gotta, you gotta chill a little bit. I'm happy that's your home, bro. I know, I know, you're stoked. You're like, hell yeah, my girlfriend's back, man. Back home, eating delicious food. Oh, man. Life is good, dude. <laughs> I'm so stoked. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit with them and just hang out. I miss them a lot. You know, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna have some bonding time now. Oh, and then I'm gonna go to, I gotta go to the store. I gotta pick up all these cameras. I got a security guy coming out here. We're gonna mount everything and get everything hardwired so it's not on batteries and it's recording 24 seven. We're never gonna stop. Recording all the time, Khaleesi. So that way if anybody messes with you, oh, and we're putting padlocks on everything. The monitor cages are getting padlocked. This thing's getting padlocked. You're gonna need a freaking key to go in and out at all times. It's gonna remain locked always. We're never gonna have a mishap again. Cause I don't wanna lose you. I don't. I love you, Khalees. You're like my baby girl. You know? It's, uh, it's just so crazy. I'm so thankful. Like, thanks for all the kind words, guys. Thanks for looking out. Thanks for sharing everything. Thanks for thanks for listening to my rambling. I know I, I ramble, but. That's what we do, right? Oh, God. All right, y'all. That's the update. Sorry for the iPhone video. I know it's just a regular iPhone video, unedited, just raw, real, real life, man. I try to be as transparent as I can. No fake crap over here. I'm so thankful. <laughs> Dude, I'm turning that corner today in my neighborhood and seeing Khaleesi walking in the middle of the street. I didn't even know what to do, dude. My heart was racing, racing, <laughs> shaking. I was like, I was shaking. It was absolutely crazy. Mind, my mind is still blown, blown away still right now. All right, well, we're gonna have a nice little cuddle sesh. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make some videos here this week. I got a tattoo convention this weekend, so maybe I'll make a tattoo convention video. It's been a while since I've done that. Now that everything's back and open and normal. I don't feel so weird recording when everybody's wearing masks and all like scared of crap. So we're gonna get back to we're gonna get back to things. This was this was definitely this was a lesson, man. Everything happens for a reason. Um, no matter if it's shitty or whatever it is, you know it teaches you things. You know, I need to I need to tighten up. You know, I've I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty good with everything, but. Uh, you know, I definitely should have had more cameras on everything so I could know exactly what the hell happened. So, that's it, y'all. Appreciate everything. Until next time, we're out of here. See you later, Drogo. Say bye, Drogo. Nah, he ain't having it. All right, guys. Peace out.